Are you ready to discover the true nature of Rottweilers and find the perfect one for you and your family? When most people think of Rottweilers, they picture a muscular and aggressive dog who's got it out for everyone. But the truth is, these powerful and loyal canines are so much more than that. Rottweilers have a rich history dating back to ancient Roman times and are known for their versatility, protective nature, and unwavering loyalty. But did you know that there are actually five different types of Rottweilers? Yep, you heard that right. Five different types of Rottweilers, each with their own unique characteristics and traits. But how did the five different types come to be, you might ask? Well, the answer is that they're different simply because of the country they're born in. Different countries have different breeding standards, which leads to variation among the breed. And in this video today, we're going to take you on a journey to explore all five different types of Rottweilers and help you choose the one that's perfect for your lifestyle, personality, and needs. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. German Rottweiler When it comes to the German Rottweiler, there's a bit of mystery surrounding their origin. It's difficult to confirm whether or not they truly descended from ancient Roman drover dogs, but one thing's for sure, these powerful and majestic canines have been working dogs for centuries. With their strong and athletic build, German Rottweilers stand out from the pack with their thick bones, broad bodies, and blocky heads. Bred strictly according to the standard of ancient Rottweilers, they weigh in at 110 to 130 pounds for males and 77 to 110 pounds for females, with males reaching up to 27 inches tall at the shoulder and females 25 inches. The reason for the German Rottweiler's distinct appearance is due to their strict breeding standards set by the German Rottweiler Club, the ADRK. Only specific dogs are allowed to be reproduced, and breeding specimens must pass rigorous physical and temperamental requirements. But German Rottweilers aren't just a pretty face. They're known for their loyalty, intelligence, and eagerness to work, making them ideal as service dogs, police dogs, and even therapy dogs. But don't be fooled, they will fiercely protect their pack if trained properly. German Rottweilers need a lot of endurance and responsibility. Responsibility. They require consistent training, daily exercise, and socialization to keep them well behaved. And if you're ever in doubt about if you have a German Rottweiler, just offer them a plate of sauerkraut on a bratwurst and you'll see their true heritage come out. Number 2. American Rottweiler are you searching for a dog that combines both beauty and brawn? Look no further than the American Rottweiler. These purebred dogs born and bred in the United States are known for their elegant and stunning appearance. But don't let that fool you, they also make great guard dogs. The American Kennel Club recognizes American Rottweilers as purebreds, which can sometimes lead to a slenderer build compared to their German counterparts. However, not all breeders prioritize the breed standard, leading to variations in appearance. Despite this, there are still reputable breeders that produce American Rottweilers worthy of the show ring. Typically standing at 24 to 27 inches for males and 22 to 25 inches for females and weighing in at 95 to 135 pounds for males and 80 to 100 pounds for females, these large dogs are powerful and muscular with a black coat accented with rust markings and a dog tail. Not only do they make great protectors, but American Rottweilers are also known to be calm, brave, and playful at home with their families. The rough straight coat sheds moderately throughout the year. These dogs are also loving and gentle with their family, making them the perfect addition to any household. Number 3. Roman Rottweiler The Roman Rottweiler, also known as the Gladiator Rottweiler or Colossal Rottweiler, may sound like a majestic and powerful subtype of the Rottweiler breed, but unfortunately, it's not really an official type of Rottweiler at all. Instead, it's a result of bad breeding practices where breeders intentionally create a larger and heavier dog than the breed standard calls for. But let's be clear, there's nothing Roman about the Rottweiler. The modern Rottweiler was bred in Germany, not ancient Rome, and the Mastiff-type dogs used by the Romans as a herding breed that provided an ancestor for the Rottweiler no longer exist. The so-called Roman Rottweiler is not recognized by the American Kennel Club or ADRK, also known as German Rottweiler Club, due to its deviation from the breed standard. In some cases, it's even a mixed breed dog of a Mastiff and a Rottweiler. But here's the thing, creating a larger Rottweiler doesn't make it better. In fact, it's harmful to the dog's health as they're going to be more susceptible to orthopedic problems including hip dysplasia. They also tend to snore and overheat due to their large size. Number 4. Tailed Rottweiler Are you tired of seeing Rottweilers with dog tails? Well, it's time to take a closer look at the tailed Rottweiler. In America, the breed standard calls for the Rottweiler's tails to be docked. 
which is why it's so common for many people to think that Rottweilers have dog tails. And in fact, tail docking was a pretty common practice for the Rottweiler even in their country of origin. However, now you can see more of these guys with tails because since 1999, the Germans banned the practice of docking tails. Tailed Rotties are making a comeback as they were. The ADRK standard recognizes a Rottweiler with a tail in a natural condition, whereas the American Kennel Club standards call for a tail docked short. This means that in Germany, Rottweilers with tails are considered purebreds and are eligible to participate in shows and competitions. A tailed Rottweiler is no different from a docked Rottweiler in terms of temperament, personality, and trainability. The only difference is that they have a tail, which is a natural and beautiful part of the dog. These Rottweilers are also known for their loyalty, intelligence, and protective nature. So whether you prefer a Rottweiler with a dog tail or a natural tail, it's important to remember that the true beauty of this breed lies in their character and temperament. And at the end of the day, that's what truly matters. Number 5. Rare Rottweiler when it comes to Rottweilers, we're all familiar with the classic black and tan coat. But have you ever heard of a red Rottweiler, a blue Rottweiler, or even an albino Rottweiler? Well, these rare and unique variations of the breed may catch your eye when browsing through breeder websites or social media. But before you jump at the chance to own one of these rare dogs, you just gotta know that they are not true Rottweilers by standard. These variations are often the result of breeding with dogs of other breeds, and while they may be visually striking, they do not adhere to the standards set by organizations like the American American Kennel Club or the ADRK. In fact, the AKC specifically states that Rottweilers should have a black and tan, black and rust, or a black and mahogany coat, with no other colors allowed. Another type of Rottweiler that is considered rare is the long-haired Rottie. With their lush, fluffy coats, they may be a sight to behold, but unfortunately, they're considered a disqualification according to the AKC breed standard. So if you're looking for a truly special Rottweiler, stick to the traditional breeds and choose one that fits your lifestyle and personality. With their versatility, loyalty, unique temperament, and loving nature, there's a Rottweiler out there for everyone. Alright guys, that's it for the 5 different types of Rottweilers. Thank you so much for watching the video. Now it's time for you to think about what type of Rottweiler is the best fit for you and your lifestyle. Are you looking for a loyal companion? and protector or a show-stopping giant? Do you want a Rottweiler with a tail or that adheres to the traditional breed standard? Let us know your views on the best type of Rottweiler in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun facts and queries about your favorite dog breed and I'll see you guys in the next one.